Hey there people, it's the mage, here as usual. Uh, happy to be giving you my first installment of the Vault VII Vacation Project. Um, it's something that I was just working on on my own. Um, I really enjoy the Discord and everybody in it. So, um, so yeah, so I decided to make a place for everyone to go because, you know, locked up in a vault all day. I want somewhere to chill out and relax. And uh, I decided to kind of base everything here on all of the moderators. So I hope you enjoy. Um, so here, just to start, um, just outside the first place I'm going to show you, you've got the nice little uh, sort of vendor area there, uh, just to get yourself some nice cold drinks. A little dark at the moment because uh, still under construction. Um, all of this will be uh, rebuilt um, once the new PC is finished, so looking forward to that. Um, but all of this is on Xbox. Now, uh, this big building here is OIC2P's uh, Vacation Station. Um, I decided to make a mega store in honour of him and his great mods. Um, so just in the entrance here, we've got some nice uh, vending machines and, uh, you know, we've got some nice signage. And um, So yeah, I tried to make it look kind of homely, but uh, a giant superstore it is. Um, so this place... Uh, the frame rate is very poor so I apologise, um, it has a lot of clutter in it, um, so I really push the Xbox to its limits, um, it does not like this place, um, so it took me a few attempts to record. Um, so yeah, so as you come down, you know, you've got uh, push chairs and, and ironing boards and you've got armour there, um, you've got your general goods to the right hand side as well, um, and as you can see there is pretty much bit of everything really. Um, you know, you've got some of your armor there and uh, some of the general goods there to the right. And you can see your lunch boxes and the, got the ladder up there and a basketball hoop if you wanted to buy one of those. Um, so yeah, so you know, just really try to pack it out. Um, as you notice, some of the middle bits are empty um, because Unfortunately, like I said, this place is really difficult to build in on the Xbox. Um, so yeah, so uh, here's where the uh, counter is going to be. Um, nice big area, um, plenty of space, um, and plenty of space for me to fit a few things behind. Uh, you got the gun area over here as well. Nice place for some weaponry. Um, so yeah, so uh, behind here, like I said, loads of space. Um, going to be plenty of space for storage and stuff like that. Um, tried to put a little bit of decoration there just to give you a feel of what it will be like once it's finished. And um, up this way we have uh, some of the clothing and stuff as well. Um, so what we do is we'll come back in from the beginning and just take a little look at uh, the other side here. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, you know, we we got radios if you need them. You've got your you've got your plant pots there, and over here we still some of the things that uh, you probably will need in the Commonwealth, but uh, you probably don't think about. Uh, so you got your tombstones and your coffins, and tables, chairs, and just a uh, a few more various um, clothing related items that you can get out here. So yeah, so like I said, um, I really, really packed out the store, um, plenty of stuff in there, but really looking forward to making it come to life uh, once I start this on PC. Upstairs here we have um, the sort of the next area. Now uh, this is going to be Curie's Medical Station. It's a place for you to uh, get all the goods you may need to help you on your journeys. And uh, like I say, it's a literally packed out with uh, plenty of items um, that will support you if you're playing the game. Uh, I did actually use uh, copy pasta. Um, I put one of every single item down and then I copied it along. And uh, that actually gives the effect of, it gives uh, items that you can pick up in the game, but it kind of gives them the effect of being static, so you can't really knock them over. Um, so yeah, so here's just a few stills of uh, some of the bits I didn't really get to capture in its entirety. Um, it's sort of a better view of some of the shelves here. Uh, nice and neat because uh, I'm sure Curie likes to keep uh, everything well organised, um, as you would hope in a medical professional's area. So yeah, so um, 
over here obviously we uh, have the main sort of waiting area and the counter over here uh, got a beautiful signage um, it's enough a few couple of stills of that area just a bit brighter <laughs> so you can see a little bit better and over here I've got one of my favourite signs um, you may not be able to read at the bottom but if you pause uh, it does uh, have a few funny jokes on there so uh, be sure to have a check that of that um, I believe it's from the Better Stores mod as well, so you should definitely check that out. Um, so yeah, so just behind the counter, obviously we've got more more medication, more different um, things relating to a surgery. And back here we have the little surgery centre, as you can see, and then uh, got some of the uh, special chairs there, the extractor chair and a zeta chair, if you need your uh, alignment doing. Um, so yeah, so here's just a few more pics of uh, the inside there. And uh, yeah, and as you can see, it's uh, it's fully kitted out. Uh, and I was definitely sure to uh, use uh, OIC 2P's uh, mod there for the crafting stations because that mod, if you haven't had a go on there, uh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, really helps bring to life your creation, uh, your sorry, your stations when you're when you're building. So uh, you should definitely check them out. A couple of views off the uh, balcony up there, uh, just looking down onto the store down there. So yeah, it was a really really fun to build that. Um, I really really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so much appreciation for you for your watching today. I hope you enjoyed the first instalment. Uh, be sure to catch up the second instalment. I'll try to get it out as soon as I can. Um, so yeah, so be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again. Peace.